Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Stromberg. I'm director of the Cardiac Critical Care Unit at Dell Children's Medical Center in Austin, Texas, affiliated with the UT Dell Medical School. The purpose of this three-minute instructional video, developed in conjunction with the PD Rescue Network, is to introduce you to Interposed Abdominal Compression CPR, or IAC CPR, and to demonstrate how the technique is performed. IAC CPR is an adjunct to conventional CPR, which employs abdominal counterpulsation during the relaxation phase of thoracic compressions. The technique augments systolic and diastolic blood pressure, coronary perfusion, and cardiac output during resuscitation without an increase in myocardial oxygen demand. So it functions in a fashion that is complementary to recommended epinephrine administration. Mechanistically, IAC CPR transmits external force on the abdomen through intervening tissues to the aorta. This does three important things. It increases aortic diastolic pressure and enhances retrograde flow to the coronary arteries and brain in a manner similar to intra-aortic balloon counterpulsation. Two, hydrostatic compression of intra-abdominal veins during IAC CPR advances blood into the thoracic compartment during the relaxation phase of chest compressions. This refilling of the intrathoracic blood pool improves cardiac output with subsequent chest compressions. And three, the increase in baseline venous pressure coupled with maintenance of an adequate arteriovenous gradient during IAC CPR may overcome capillary closing pressure and thereby improve vital organ perfusion. Hello, my name is Amanda Walker. I am one of the supervisors here on the cardiac care unit at Dell Children's Medical Center. IAC CPR has been studied in animal models of resuscitation and in randomized trials of adults to significant advantage. It also has a great safety record without increasing the incidence of emesis or vital organ injury. Therefore, it carries a class 2B AHA recommendation. However, less is known about IAC CPR use in children or how the technique can be applied in pediatrics. We have extrapolated the physical principles underlying recommended IAC CPR technique in adults to children, and that is what I would like to demonstrate to you today. IAC CPR can be performed with one or two compressors. In smaller children, less than 15 kilograms, and neonates, it is easily done by a single individual with one hand performing chest compressions and the other performing abdominal compressions. Hand placement for chest compressions is done according to AHA guidelines. The rescuer's hand, or two fingers in neonates and infants, should be placed on the umbilicus in midline. Avoid the xiphoid process, liver, and lower rib margins. Compress the abdomen counter to thoracic compressions, that is, during thoracic relaxation, at the same rate with a 50% duty cycle to produce a seesaw effect. The force of abdominal compressions should be similar to the force of chest compressions, with the goal of achieving the desired diastolic blood pressure. Make sure you allow for full release of pressure on the abdomen between cycles, similar to allowing full recoil for chest compressions. Putting it all together, this is what IAC CPR looks like. This is chest compressions only, now IAC CPR. Thank you for your attention.